Well, we brought you the story at the end of last year of a local baby from Taft with a rare gene abnormality who's waiting for a life-saving bone marrow transplant. Tonight, 23 ABC's Leah Pizzetti joins us in studio with the next major steps being taken on little Jeremiah's journey back to health. Leah. Tim, Jessica, doctors initially told little Jeremiah's family that he would be in the hospital for about six months total. Now in just a couple weeks, we'll have hit that six month mark of Jeremiah living in the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles with multiple months left to go. But now there is a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Jeremiah is a two year old filled with bursts of. He was an absolute blessing. Every day is a blessing with him. Dad Mark Upshaw says Jeremiah was a surprise blessing after he and his wife gave up on having another baby when Mark turned 50. And at 54, I had a pleasant surprise and here come Jeremiah. A much harder surprise, finding out their blessing boy has a rare disorder. He's missing part of a gene. It's just a part of the gene which makes his immune system overactive. And uh, the only cure for that is bone marrow transplant. So in August, Jeremiah moved into the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, hoping for a life-saving bone marrow transplant. Unfortunately, he's just grown up in the hospital. And, uh, but as far as he knows, he's home. Jeremiah's mom, Melissa, staying by his side every single day since then, and Mark going back and forth between the hospital and his job in Taft to keep the bills paid. There's days I shoot back and go to work at three o'clock in the morning and get some things done and make a little money and then back to Los Angeles. The whole time, baby Jeremiah not leaving this one isolated room, FaceTiming grandparents. <laughs> celebrating his second birthday, learning how to walk, Jeremiah walking to daddy, making a home away from home for the holidays. We had people say, well, we're sure sorry that you had to spend Christmas, you know, down there, but spending it in the hospital. It was, uh, meant peace of mind. Best Christmas ever. Because soon, baby Jeremiah will get his bone marrow transplant. <laughs> this week, he's scheduled to start 13 straight days of chemotherapy. Then on the 14th day, he'll get his transplant. And Mark, who has grown used to video chat check-ins with his wife and son, Where's your balloon? says he's learned to cherish every moment he can with his baby boy. If you worry about tomorrow, it robs you of your joy today. So every day that he's good, it's, it's a miracle. Once again, Jeremiah is scheduled to start the process of getting his bone marrow transplant on February 8th. One important requirement is that he's in perfect health, so his family is hoping the surgery won't be postponed yet again like it already has been twice already. We will continue to follow Jeremiah's journey, and you can too. His family has set up this Facebook page. It's called Jeremiah's Journey. You can find it on Facebook and follow his journey. We, of course, will also keep you updated on his progress. In studio, Leah Pizzetti, 23 ABC.